Hi, this is Dr. Hilton Gottschalk. I'm a pediatric orthopedic surgeon here at Central Texas Pediatric Orthopedics, located in Austin, Texas, affiliated with the University of Texas Dell Medical School. Today we're going to talk about casting. We're going to talk about the equipment that we use, the types of casts we put on, as well as how do we put the cast on, and then the process of removing the cast. With any fracture that your child may have, it's going to depend on the type of fracture, the location where the fracture is, as well as up to your pediatric orthopedic provider to determine what kind of cast will go on. The most traditional cast that we put on typically uses synthetic cotton as this. This is not waterproof and should not get wet. The other type of casting material that we have is a waterproof cast made by Aquacast liner. The Aquacast liner is a waterproof type of material. This is typically used uh, for casts and it can get wet with chlorine water as well as with bathing and showers. However, it should not get wet with lake water, ocean water, or at the beach. No sand should be put down it. It'll be important that you talk with your provider about the cast material. Typically, if there's too much swelling, this type of material may not be used, but have a conversation with your provider. Once the cast padding has been put on, we have two types of material that we use for casting. Most commonly would be fiberglass material, which is lighter. Based on the type of fracture, the pattern, and talking with your provider, we'll then decide which type of material to put on. This is the fiberglass. It comes in different colors. This is usually the plaster of Paris, which can also be used to help create the cast. We will now describe the process of how we place a cast. In this scenario, we are placing a short arm cast utilizing a synthetic cotton cast padding and utilizing fiberglass. Again, depending on the fracture location, pattern, and size of your child, the provider will choose the right type of cast for your child. First, a stockinette is placed over the extremity. Padding is used because it protects the skin from the cast material. As the plaster and or fiberglass is set, it produces an exothermic reaction, which means it produces heat. This typically lasts for about a minute and will cool down just as quickly as it heated up. Importantly, as the cast is removed, the padding will provide protection from the skin as well. Once the padding is applied, the actual cast material is then wrapped over the extremity. Depending on the swelling, the cast may need to be split to allow for the swelling to go down. This will be determined by your pediatric orthopedic provider. For a standard cast, the following rules will apply. Please do not get the cast wet. This can lead to skin breakdown and maceration. Do not put objects down the cast, including coat hangers or any other object. We do recommend dollar bills, however, for tips for our orthopedic technicians. A sling can be used, but I find most kids do not want to wear one. You do not need to force that. To help bring the swelling down, elevate the hand above the elbow for the next 48 hours. Now describe the process of removing the cast. One of our certified orthopedic technicians will assist in removing of the cast. Once there is sufficient healing based on radiographs, the cast can be removed. The amount of time spent in a cast depends on multiple factors. A cast saw is used to remove most casts. A trained technician will remove that cast. The cast saw is loud and is usually attached to a vacuum. This can be daunting to some patients, but know that our trained experts will work with your child and make the experience as friendly as possible. 
Once the cast is removed, it is very common for the extremity to feel funny. The skin is usually dry and sensitive. We forget sometimes that we shed our skin every day, but with the cast, our outside skin layer collects. Try not to scratch that area as it can cause it to be more irritated. We recommend using a gentle soap and water followed by some skin lotion for the next couple of days. It's common for the area to be irritated from the sweat. This will improve within a few days. And that's how we remove a cast. If you have any questions about your child's cast, please feel free to reach out to our office anytime.